Okay, here we go, Carpe Diem. Pride of place on the CYC. That is a stainless XL. Oh, let's get some focus on that. A stainless XL anchor. And you can see the finish looks pretty nice. Those very heavily tinted uh, salon windows. Um, interesting shapes. We've got a solid vang, uh, a leisure fell system, twin spreaders. I won't look up too much, I'll get rain. Uh, there's a uh, windows open there. Okay, which comes with our own steps. And then two beautiful huge winches here, electrically operated, I believe. Great transom with step down and a fold down ladder at the bottom. You've got a uh, gas storage on the left and storage on the right. Um, really nice uh, stainless work. Um, getting on board. Okay, oh! Dodger, very good nick. We've got a solid handhold here. Very firm, twin wheels, uh, more storage down here, and um, engine controls. I'll take a wheel cover off in a minute. Uh, beautiful table, and then moving forward, this is quite a big cockpit space with uh, seating for one, two, four, eight there. And as we turn around, we got seating for four, even past the back. Okay, up on the wheel, um, we've got this nice leather covering here. We've got our course master steering system. And then we've got controls here for the bow thruster up and down, keel and anchor. Uh, and then a rear thruster. Um, not 100% sure there might be one set of uh, winches. And down here we've got floor controls for the main winch and uh, throttle controls. Everything is reflected both sides, so you can do it from either side. Fantastic. All right, we've got a double locking system here. Uh, boards out. And downstairs. Hang on. Welcome aboard. Now, here's beautiful down here. You can see we get a good balance of light outside with those uh, huge windows. So the layout, let's have a quick look at that. So we have the saloon, the lounge area, rear cabin behind here. Uh, this will be hanging space just beside the door. And we've got a fridge down here. Um, Lots of storage cupboards along the side here. Uh, we've got a beautiful fold-out table which uh, pulls out. I won't do it now. Um, we've got, I'm not sure if the dolphin comes with it. We have the galley, large fridges, double sink, uh, dish washer, and another fridge here or freezer. Not sure which is which. Fridge space there. That's the garbage bin, more storage, electrical appliances, etc. And then we've got these storm covers over the hatches there. Okay, uh, let's continue looking at this space. We've got this beautiful breakfast nook um, and a little library there. There's not a lot of light in here, but uh, it's a rainy day. Uh, so that's just a nice little spot to to be intimate and have breakfast. Then we've got the nav station with electronics here. Let's see if I can brighten this up. Uh, maybe not. Here we go. Uh, so, uh, course master, we've got a big Raymarine touch screen here. Uh, it might be aged a bit, but they're certainly in good nick. Then we've got this armchair. 
which, uh, which is removable. Uh, the stereo here, I think it's just the television under here. Oops, uh, oh, television under that cover there with a tricky little latchy thing. Electronic, uh, sorry, electrics down there. Okay, moving back, we have a, a head here with a separate shower, and behind this cupboard in here is a washing machine dryer. Okay, and that has a door to its own cabin back here. And it'll be a bit dim down here, but maybe I'll just go put some lights on. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Here we have a nice double timber finishes and this sort of velury uh, white finish. Uh, it's got quite a few ports. It's looking very nice. And it has uh, a little porthole through to the floor. Um, hanging storage. And the lights aren't on, but um, anyway, access, it's on access to the head. And as we come around the other side, we go down into this back cabin, which is just full of... Let me turn the ISO up, if it'll let me. No. Uh, there we go. So this cabin is full of all the cushions. It also has a little porthole, to, which has got a bit of scum growing on it now. It's got a desk. Uh, let me come back with the lights on. Bunks and a double. A bunk and a double. So. Uh, it's a fold-away bunk, I believe, and then that has its own head as well with its own access. So, and then lastly, we'll come forward into the forward bunk. Well, sorry, the forward cabin, the blaster cabin. Really nicely lined. Uh, there's Cape Cuddy going around. Uh, Cape of one of the capes. Um, uh, we've got a nice large hatch up top, a good sized bed with drawers underneath and these are these ribs that go right through the boat and hold the whole thing together. Um, that's got its own little ensuite there with a separate shower and you know very nicely done. You can see all the timber is in really very very good nick. She's a very smart boat. So that's got a little desk there, lovely space. Another radio, personal music there. And then that's looking back from that cabin. But let's talk about comfortable. Very comfortable. Up here we've got two hatches. We've got the light coming through everywhere and then we've also got these little forward hatches for airflow right through the boat. I might just put some lights on, we'll have another look. Okay, once more with lights. So you can see the step lights there. Uh, up here we have a, a temperature, high, dry and set air conditioning. Um, you get a little bit more view down here with the desk, etc. Um, and that double bed is actually covered in cushions throughout the back. Uh, and then we've got this bunk up the top. And nice finish. Okay, let's head back out. Just check my focus here. Um, back down into this rear cabin. So you get the size of the bed there. You can see the hanging storage on the right. Um, uh, well placed lighting. Little drawers here, a shelf across, uh, yeah, and really nice timber in good condition. Yep, out of my budget, but it'd be exactly my boat. This would be very nice to cruise on, very comfortable, all the mod cons. What else can we have a look at? Have a look at these chain plates. Uh, you'll see these, these regular ribs, again running out around the boat. They go right through the hull and then right through the, the roof line as well and then here they tie down the chain plates and let's have a look at those yeah very meaty chain plates there serious piece of business um 
bit of storage. I haven't turned on all the lights. There's speakers built into those uh, side um, panels there. Oh, and under here, this is where the lifting keel is. So if you're, woohoo, it's got a sort of Perspex lid so that you can, you know, have a good look at it. And um, yeah, so that's something there will lift up. So you just can't have a dinner party when your keel's up. Uh, table, let's uh, have a look at this table coming out. Okay, so that table pulls out either side and then these leaves inside. It's a pretty nice design. <clears throat> they butterfly up. I'm trying to remember how. Uh, I think it's a two-handed job. I've got a camera in one hand. Yeah, anyway, so they lift up, butterfly up. Let me do it for you, hang on. All right, I work out the trick. There's a little hole underneath the table when you push, and the arms come up. Hang on. And up they go, ah! And then they push back in on these little pins. And of course, that has a little lip all around this table so that uh, nothing can fall off. And let's have a look at the size of that. And then of course, it, it will spin to allow you a good sized dining table there. How beautiful is that? So there she is, Cafe Diem. Ah, these good handrails up here on the roof. Uh, CYC race tonight. What do we got? Wednesday night race. Really, really beautiful boat. Uh, really well set up to sail. Really comfortable to cruise. Oh. There they go. And a nice wet afternoon.